in an exceptional emergency situation, it may be necessary to stop all trains in a particular area. This is achieved by making a railway emergency group call. All trains and associated fixed terminal users in the initiating GSMR area will receive the railway emergency group call. When drivers receive a railway emergency group call, they will bring their trains to an immediate stop and wait for further instructions. A railway emergency group call will automatically terminate any other incoming or ongoing calls. If you initiate a railway emergency group call, you must use the correct protocols and you must remember to press the push to talk button when speaking and release it when you are listening. You should always be aware that there may be more than two parties involved with the call who will also be listening to the information being passed on. Here the communication must be controlled using the appropriate G1 communication radio protocols using the word over which indicates that you have finished the message and that you are expecting a reply. When you have finished the message and no reply is expected then you should use the word out. Remember that only the lead signaller or operations controller with lead responsibility for the call are authorised to end a railway emergency group call. To initiate a railway emergency group call, press the emergency button at the bottom left of the default screen. This screen will appear. Press the relevant button for the area to which you need to make the emergency call. This area button will be highlighted by a blue border and a red receiver icon will appear. Press this icon to initiate the emergency call. The ACB will appear as a solid yellow box with a flashing red border. The name of the area where the call was initiated, the group call icon and the group name will appear on the ACB. A railway emergency group call is automatically connected after 5 seconds. The signaller must then press the push to talk button and wait for 1 second before speaking. All parties must release the push to talk button to allow others to talk. Remember, you must use the correct voice protocols when participating in an emergency call. To end a railway emergency group call, press the ACB. This screen will pop up. Remember, you must not end the railway emergency group call for all participants unless you are the signaller with lead responsibility for the call. If you are, and it is appropriate to do so, then press the End Call for All button. If you are not the lead signaller, you need to fully understand the nature of the emergency call. Before dropping out of an emergency call, you need to monitor the call, ensure that you fully understand the nature of the call, take any appropriate action before replacing the receiver or pressing the ACB, then press drop out of call and restart trains as appropriate. You can then leave the call by pressing the drop out of call button. This means the call will continue with other participants. If you wish to cancel the end call process, then press the X button. If you need to access an urgent call from the emergency screen, then press the red urgent button on the right hand side. This red banner will appear on the screen if you are receiving a railway emergency group call. You will also hear this alarm. The call will automatically answer after 5 seconds in hands-free mode. You can answer the call prior to that by lifting the handset or by pressing the ACB. The ACB will appear as a solid yellow box with a red flashing border. 
the ACB will display the group icon, the head code, and the originating cell. An appropriate role icon will also appear. This icon indicates that you are the lead signaller and should lead the communication. You must comply with the signalling rules and regulations that relate to the incident, protect the affected line and stop any trains proceeding towards the incident. You must also gather all relevant information relating to the incident and make sure that a clear understanding has been reached in relation to the incident and not end the emergency call until this has been done. You must state end of railway emergency call before ending the call for all. This icon indicates that you are not the lead signaller, which means you must not talk but should monitor the call. You must also note all relevant information to your area of control. If it is required, then you must comply with the relevant rules and regulations to protect the line and not speak until you are asked to do so by the signaller or operations controller with lead responsibility, unless you need to provide vital information for the incident. This icon indicates no lead signaller is assigned. Where a number of signal box areas converge, the GSMR system cannot always identify the lead signaller. In these circumstances, you must refer to the signaller's general instructions, sometimes referred to as the signal box special instructions, to ascertain which signaller must take the lead responsibility for the emergency call. Remember that you must only end an emergency call for all if you are the lead signaller or the operations controller. This is a normal call being interrupted by an emergency call. The red banner appears across the screen and the details of the emergency call appear in the incoming call list as well as on the ACB which now flashes with a red border. It is essential to be fully aware of the protocols and procedures for initiating and receiving railway emergency group calls. If you need to initiate a railway emergency group call, then you must use this voice protocol. This is a railway emergency group call. I repeat, this is a railway emergency group call from the signal at Gatestown West to all trains in the Gatestown area. Please stop immediately. I repeat, please stop immediately. And to end a railway emergency group call, use this voice protocol. End of railway emergency group call. When you have completed a railway emergency group call, you must use the word out when you have finished the message and no reply is expected. If you receive a railway emergency group call, then you must use this voice protocol. This is the signal at Gatestown West. Please can the driver of 1 Papa 17 state your message. When you have finished your message, remember to say over to indicate that you have finished the message and that you are expecting a reply. At the end of any railway emergency group call, you must use the word out when you have finished the message and no reply is expected. If you receive a railway emergency group call and there is no response from the initiator of the call, then you must use this voice protocol. This is the signal at Gatestown West. With the person who has pressed the red button, please respond by lifting the handset marked GSMR and pass their message by pressing the orange button on the handset. When you have finished your message, remember to say over to indicate that you have finished the message and that you are expecting a reply. When you have completed a railway emergency group call, you must use the word out when you have finished the message and no reply is expected. If it can be established that the train is not in service and not on a running line, for example a train is in a maintenance depot or sidings, 
then you must use the following voice protocol. This is the signal at Gatestown West with the person on unit number 82127. Please respond. I repeat, this is the signal at Gatestown West with the person on unit number 82127. Please respond. At the end of any railway emergency group call, you must use the word out when you have finished the message and no reply is expected. When you have completed a railway emergency group call, you must use the word out when you have finished the message and no reply is expected.